they have been compensated and if they have not, they will make sure they are compensated. So there is no threat that anybody is coming to take their land. But that, that didn't really address the whole thing, okay? But somehow, he, he made, the, I mean, it probably made them feel like, you know, he felt for them. Anyway, that can't be said of uh, the people of this community in Enugu. I, have, I will continue to share their story. The Undani people in Enugu who have become the victims of uh, the Fulani terrorism, incessant uh, killings. I want you to listen to this. The women of Abai in Uzawani local government area have taken to the streets to protest the ongoing killings in the community by persons suspected to be armed headsmen. Expressing their grief and frustration, one of the women leaders in Adani narrated their collective ordeal in the hands of the invaders while calling for urgent intervention. <laughs> The latest incident was the killing of two brothers, Obunna Felix and Obunna John, while they were returning from the farm on Sunday. April 7th, 2024. The recent spate of violence has left the community in a state of fear and uncertainty while tensions running high. Speaking to Signature Television, Matthew Idu, an indigene of Adani, highlighted the devastating impact of the crisis on the lives of the people of the area. He was uh, sleeping out outside his uh, house, just taking breeze. And... Uh, about that kind, 12, 30, midnight. And some group of people came in and uh, killed him, assassinated. As we were holding the town meeting on Sunday, news came in that two young men that went to farm were killed in the farm. It can't be hoodlums. It cannot be hoodlums. Uh, I would still call it the, the, the farmers' headers clash, but there was no clash this time around. The headers do not want these farmers to come to their farms. Why is that? I don't know exactly. Because you that have your farm, for instance, you have a cassava farm, and you see these headers eating up what you have, Planted for, for that you are with, we've planted and waiting to harvest. You see them eating it up. You, do, you don't have any rights before them to ask them not to do that. If you speak to them, you'll be a victim. Situations where headers harvest cassava and split these cassavas for the animals to eat. So if they can't get the leaves, they will go on the tubers. Is that how we're going to survive? Signature Television recalls a similar incident in Abugo last year where a prominent farmer lost all his investments due to these attacks. The most recent experience I had was what I had last year when these guys came into my farm with their cattle in the evening. Late in the evening, we were about to leave the farm then. And we sighted them at the other end of my farm in Abugo. Good enough, I had my workers on ground. We accosted them and were able to arrest one of their cows. Because part of the challenge we've had in the past is when you uh, complain to the police, they will be looking for, they want you to arrest somebody. If you can't get the full any person yourself, get their cattle. And uh, we now kept on looking for how to get, at least get one of their cattle. And we got one of their cattle. And I immediately contacted the needed authorities. I called the local government chairman, then local government chairman of uh, Kano West local government area. I contacted the SSG or SA to the governor on security matters. I also contacted the S 
SA to the governor on agriculture engineer Obuekwe, and all of them. I contacted the commissioner of agriculture too. You know, having done all of those things, by the end of the whole thing, we were unable to resolve the issues surrounding that uh, particular challenge. Needless to say that they paid lip service. Our government have paid lip service. Not just this government, right from onset, they have paid lip service to the issues of security and insecurity in Nigeria, in the Enugu state and in the local areas. The Commissioner of Police, Kanayo Izuebu, while expressing sadness about the incident, assured the community of adequate support to bring justice to perpetrators of the dastardly act. We came here for solidarity. Yes, I am not really too happy the police here in the state will never allow this unwarranted killing of people going to inside, inside, inside their bush just to, for their daily their living. We can never never tolerate this kind of unwarranted and devilish act. I know Adani is reputed for the highest police of rights. Yes, and that will not deter you from going to far. I came here to assure you of the great guarantee, not only here, but the state generally. Despite assurances from the Commission of Police. It's just talking nonsense, so sure you get. That's the Commissioner of Police. But that's from Enugu. Adani is a farming uh, community or a farming uh, local government area. They grow their own rice, they grow their own food, but they have been under the endless attacks of uh, the Pulani terrorists who have managed to sneak in in that state. And uh, Pitamba is also working to get them their own uh, Ruga somewhere also in the Nugu. Well, let's go a bit further. All right. Uh, a tragedy struck, ladies and gentlemen, in Nigeria yesterday. Right. This young man, hmm, uh, his name is, uh, where is he again? Right. So uh, his name is uh, Pope Paul or uh, John Paul Odon, with, Odon Wodo, that's his name. Uh, he drowned in Nigeria yesterday. I can't really show you the. Uh, the video of all of that, okay? But there's something I actually want to, the reason why I'm sharing this video with you, apart from the fact that we uh, sympathize with uh, his family, that guy had about, I mean, had their three, you know, three kids that uh, are still so young. They will have to grow up without their father. A very, very terrible tragedy. He was uh, 39 last year. I think we are actually like age mates as well. And that made me see my seven name somehow. And also reminded me that whether you are rich or poor, there's going to be a time, or I would say, it is actually time for you to begin to understand what Nigeria truly means. Nigeria will kill you. See, yeah? Nigeria is a weapon eh, fashioned against us in a way that even if you are rich, you are not safe. Well, before I get into all of that, Ma first uh, play you the video of the man they said that he survived and he shared this story. And I want to take him. Let's listen. My name is TC Okafo. Um, I'm a Hollywood actor. First of all, I want to thank God for saving my life because it's not easy. The way I don't know how I came out from that boat, understand? But the only thing I thank God for is that I came out alive with some of the crew members uh, like Sean Israel, Ogolo, um, one of my colleagues, Scooby Doo. When he came, when they go down the river, more will come out. In parking moto, when they go down the river, more will come out. So, in same, in same person make a buy and drink, one hero and one tiger. It, one hero before, it be I say, it all, it, with tiger, because in a DOP, they come from down here. I first them go down. In can say, they come. Say, make the person bring the drink, in don't give person money. We wait there for the person, you know, see, in come, they come down the hill again, come enter boat. The next thing, the person carry one black bath, carry that to alcohol, in give the DOP, collect one. They come to drink. As they come to drink, 
since we will start this job, I do always sit down for front. I know they like sit down for. I don't see where both can say. I know they like sit down for that. I do always like hold that rope. It's very, as in, it's very important to me that the rope now do me all this small scratch. But the fan, fan of the boats, now do me this thing. So I did for that front. He was, they were making a video. And as they make everybody pull phone for pocket, make everybody pull phone for pockets. The DOP was wearing a jacket and the director was wearing a life jacket. Only two of them wear life jackets. So JP then said that me, I did for the mouth of the boat, bend down, who can they go? But before we, I entered the boat, I carry my Fanta while I buy. All for the boat. First thing when Junior Pope asked me, to, what do they do? At least I said, there was about other people. I know they feel pass without sharing something. I don't give them Fanta bed. I don't want to tell them bad thing to happen to me. I know like what I thought. He said, not true, not true. We enter, they sit down. That time we don't go. JP don't make video. The boat guy was wearing an earpiece. I think he was playing the music and JP was doing video. So he was focusing for his head to come out on the video. And I was in the front. I see one small canoe. These people were the fishermen. At the time I say, see canoe. This thing like canoe like this now. Where they move. The canoe, that guy, if he get experience, he for just do like this. But he no get the experience. The first thing we in jam at the last point of the canoe. The boat. Some assorted. Some assorted. But because I was holding that rope, where we say boat packed for, for dry ground, where the hold are for ground, now that rope, now I hold, they save that girl, Scooby Doo girl, where they say, where me and I'm there, they push them off. See me where no, they enter swimming pool, I know so they swim. Nothing, nothing. That was it. Every of my phone, sports, everything. That is why I'm not online. Nothing, nothing. As you can't come out, I said they everyone arrest you. As I can't come out, me and Sean Israel being the props guy, we've been back in motor DC. With me, Sean Israel and that girl, um, with Ogolo, then everybody came out. But when boats come, I couldn't, the trauma was too much. I tell one of the boats, I beg, carry me across, come up for this water first. Me, Sean Israel, with that girl, why I say, we can't come out, we do girl. I can't come out, Sean can't say no feed here. They drive motor. Go. When we were not going, it didn't no grimy. I have to turn back. All one of my friends understand where I, I get Which boat will rescue now? Which boat? Boat where they pass? Boat where they pass. You know, say, uh, a boat move. You know, say, uh, river they open. Understand? If he decides to they happen for up up. So now those people will sight from that place will take take off. And then when they come with boats, constables by then I was already getting weak. I'm tired of holding that thing because now I get. So they try hold me, make I survive. Me when no service swim, I they hold the rope, they get they hold me. So two of us for go. I came out, I went um, to take tetanus injection in my hand because that water was very bad and treat the mouth of this thing. My name is TC Okafo. Um, I'm in Malibu. <laughs> Junior Pope is the uh, screen name, I believe, the uh, popular name of uh, the actor. I don't know him, I have to be honest, because I barely watch Nigerian movies anymore. But he seems to be a very, very popular guy. And again, another young mind lost. Let me tell you what then happened. They were shooting the movie. There is actually no, uh, what do we call that thing again? Uh, health and safety in the UK, everything, even in my own office here. Health and safety is very important. So if for any reason, there are things that I hear that, for example, if uh, I have an accident, how to try and stop uh, the bleeding, I have also been taught how to manage to do CPR, okay? If somebody collapses in my office now, eh? I can at least help uh, the ambulance before they come in. Just trying to see if they can, you know what I mean? Like CPR, mouth to mouth and the rest of that. I didn't know any of these two, and I bet you millions of Nigerians do not have a clue, except those who went to medical school or medical days and all that. Okay? So there is no health and safety. There is no provision for something like maybe uh, ambulance, uh, medical personnel on the team, doctor on board, like doctor with the team, in case any member of the crew 
you know what I mean? Like anything should happen before uh, to apply first aid before the uh, proper medical care. Nigeria no get ambulance. And of course, right, uh, there are other superstitious nonsense, okay, when it comes to river or water accident in Nigeria. So, according to that guy, it was a, a collision, an air down collision or something like with another boat or canoe, like he said, another canoe on the water. And the majority of them didn't even have any life jackets on. Another, another error of to tell you that Nigeria is just there every day going to you. It's like Nigeria is looking at me and you every day. And Nigeria is like, I will kill you. And you are like, you will not kill me. Jesus says, I will kill you. Now me go kill you. Okay. By the time I happen to you, I will kill and you. are like, no, you will not kill me. Nigeria is like, that's the way Nigeria is looking at us every day. Okay. Like it's going to kill us. But we will be saying, no, you will not. Or everything that will kill us is staring at us on the face everywhere we go to. But because we have normalized nonsense, we have normalized abnormalities, eh? we do not care until, they, until it happens. So there is no provision for protection of and all of that. So the collision happened and some divers quickly. There were no divers on their crew. Okay, you wanted to go and shoot a movie on water, real water. And there is actually no nothing like a rescue boat okay or yeah a rescue crew divers that are there with all of you in case if anything goes uh, goes wrong they can easily just jump into action and fix that there was nothing like that all right you know nigeria is a place where people would tell you say let's say you have uh, there is no there's no protection and about something you want to get involved in now you want to be involved in something and you realize that there is actually no, re no real protection provided so if you now say, how much? She this thing not be too dangerous like this. Yeah. Say, you see the fear. And it's not, you are, are you not a man? Yeah. Are you a woman? My friend, let's go, Jared. You see the fear. You are you the fear about everything. You are fearing about, you know, you are afraid of things. And you too, you just be like, okay, I don't want to sound like a pussy. So I'm just going to be like, uh, yes, I'm not afraid. I'm a man. Let's go. So none of this was there. Okay. Then the accident happened. They quickly got some guys from the shore to go there and dive and all that. And they got this guy out, Junior Pope. They got him out. And the next thing, the whole place is filled with, ah, yeah, yeah, Jesus, Jesus, you make a Jesus. Everybody's just running here, making video, picture. Nobody even felt like, should we actually give him a CPR here now? Let's even try and see if you can revive him and all of that stuff. No. Hey, the next day, they took him to the mug. He's dead, yo. He's dead. He's dead. Ah, my God, he's dead. Everybody's crying there on the, on the internet. Breaking news. Junior Pope is drunk. Junior Pope is, ah, Jesus, ah, devil, evil people. Ah, evil people don't kill him. Ah, and the devil, not the, ah, oh, Jesus, and all of that. Then the next thing, oh, he's alive. When they took, when they took him uh, to uh, the uh, mortuary uh, as a dead man, nobody, no doctor certified him. Now the crowd carry him to mortuary. When they carried him to the, to the morgue, it was somebody there, according to what we heard. Though. They said, ah, no, he's alive. Oh. It seems that something is still moving. It's moving. Imagine all of that stress. Oh, no hospital, no ambulance, no doctor, no nothing. So they now said, ah, okay, no, we we'll just, before we carry him go to hospital, let us carry him to Babalawo's house. They took him to an abalist house. They said the abalist has to, they have to do some water rituals. <laughs> the Babalawo had to do water ritual to appease the spirit of the water. The mami water, we drink Fanta earlier. So they gave it to the, 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 the Babalao. It was now the Babalao that now said, hey, we have done everything we have to do now, okay? Uh, now you need to take him to the hospital. So they now took him to the hospital and he was dead. Confirmed dead then. Listen to me, I'm not saying, probably he was actually dead when they took him to the morgue. Eh? And somehow, maybe it was somebody that just felt like, no, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive or something, I don't know. But in, throughout all of this, 
for like a one, two hours where they are moving. Actor, actor. Have you seen this guy? You know, they are, they are like all looking great. Anyway, if you go on, on Instagram, TikTok, you see the videos of some of the Nigerian actors. They are all doing fine. To me, they all look beautiful. They look great. Which means he has money. He had money. But you see that moment, see, that he needed real working system to try and revive him, even if he's going to die. You need to go and see all the videos online. They, they carry on like, which one? They say, first, they, first, they, they, they brought out two, uh, two people from the water. And they laid them on a bare, bare ground in there, on, on that sand, on that bare sand. They laid them there. And the two of them, people were, I was like, I was seeing the image yesterday. And I was like, oh, God, damn it, man. People were asking, which one is uh, Junior Pope? I'm on these two now. Which one be Junior Pope? That's what Nigeria does to you. You can go and make all the money you want in the world. If you are caught in Nigeria, the moment Nigeria is about to happen to you, your money cannot save you. And that is why you are watching my ego's diary political every night. Because a lot of you will think it's all about money. Ah, I need to make money. I need to make money. Ah, if I make money like this. Or Bafemi Martins, a multi-billionaire in Nigeria, Naira. A millionaire. You don't see Obafemi Martins now, nah, British pounds millionaire, euro, I mean, euro millionaire, dollar millionaire. Obafemi Martins. A mama, Martins love his mom so, so much that some of us who were following Obafemi Martins then, we knew, you know, it'd be like a whiskey and his mom. That's the kind of relationship of Obafemi Martins and his mom. Now, inside traffic, in mama died. For Lagos, where one tanker with petrol and all of that, lay, you know, uh, lost his control. And the Obafemi Martin's mom was inside that car, a jeep, a lovely car, and all of that. Now, death, the fire, catch up. Mama, a billionaire, you know, traffic in Okusi, in Lagos. Yeah? You want me to give you more and more and more and more of people that uh, their money, their fame, their popularity, their whatever connection, access, couldn't save them when Nigeria knocked. I saw that young man on the floor, I mean, on that, uh, on that ground yesterday. I was like, God, damn it, man. Look at that. Nigeria has killed him. A supposed rich actor. There are many of them, too, in Nigeria right now. Now, one single sickness. Eh? They are just one single sickness away from what we now expose to them that Nigeria will kill you. It is there to kill us. And that's why some of us are saying that uh, if we don't kill this contraption, it will kill us. Finish your statement, bro. Out of this thing, and ever young man tracks me. Man, say me will go back um, to the river. When I got there, I saw a lot of people. A lot of I saw my colleague uh, Kevin Nuvo. Um, I saw a lot of people. I saw Adam Alou. By that time, Adam Alou don't reach. The next thing, as we don't they finish, I tell them, see, see what thing happened, see what thing happened. As I won't go up, um, one boy rush called me, say, police people they call me. I say, that's after the accident. After the accident, don't happen. They say police. And they never see Junior Popo. They never see. Now me even first go police station, go report for police station, see what's happened for okay. Marine Police Station. When me and Shani Israel came out, now we rush go report for there because now they will pack moto. Mm -hmm. They come, they say, why think people they always do this thing? Say they don't tell us anytime we will come, make we will come rent jackets for their station before we they enter that water because they be Marine Police. Say, but because of our stinginess, say we know they even come carry them with some divers. Now, because of our stinginess, we will come. We will go to say we will make them alone, we will go. So, there, now me and Sean come drive. We are called my guy. But Sean was having a second phone when no car inside the motor. So, he can call, can call my guy. He can come instantly. As my guy came, I got him, I beg, carry me go back. I won't go down my rent. I know if you see my heart, no feet, rest if I no go there. Say this person and my colleague. Oh um, as I they come there, talk with him, happen for me, make I go. The boy tell me, say, police people, they come here. I say, make any police people won't see me. Say my head now, they shake me, they can't see me here while I sit down. The next thing, the policeman came, say, um, that they have to take me to Anicha. To Marine, Genewa, Genewa extension to Anicha, with boats. 
I stay with boat where God will just rescue my life. I come out. He wants to stay carry me with boat to go there. They say no, they have a life jacket for me. I say it be like say something they worry. Who oh, tell them they arrest you? Yeah? Now let me look. Tell them say na me cause because as I come out, the boat guy don't they lie. Say, eh, see I stand up for the boat. That is why he knows he road. Are you a madman? As I sleep like this, I stand from out of boat. Now you know sea road. Are you okay? You will be a pilot. Where the pilot boat. It's crazy. So after the accident, they never even see Junior Pope. I don't want to they arrest you. They never even see Junior Pope that time. Huh? They never even see Junior Pope. Now this, my guy is going to stop. I don't leave this. The, the policeman will come to the for him. That was how I left the place. Before my chairman man came to carry me to the hospital, say more go do scan for night yesterday. That was it. So I'm totally disappointed. And as as this point now, I want to officially say this: I am no longer an actor. I've survived so many times. I know how many times because of this stupid business. How much did they pay me? How much did they pay me? I know how many times where so I don't survive. They you know how many times where so they don't give me poison. When nobody here, I know how many times so I don't get car accidents because of Hollywood. When I know she kill me, my head too strong. Bro. When I know she kill me, Ashere is a strong man. Remain there, okay? Just stay there. Make you the play. It is not Hollywood that is killing you. It is not uh, village people that is killing you. It is not this mummy water spirit that is coming. You are so dumb in a superstitious country that a lot of you have been conditioned to believe that the failure of the system you are existing in doesn't really matter. There are some other supernatural powers that are controlling your life and they are, they are just there and they just love to drink human blood. You know, in Nigeria, they will tell you, ah, you know, these spirits, they drink blood, though. They just like to drink the blood of uh, young people. Oh, they love to drink the blood of uh, this. Oh, they need all that nonsense in that superstitious uh, L.O. called Nigeria. Nigeria will kill you uh, sooner or later because the system is programmed and put together to kill us. And the better, I mean, the earlier you know this, the better. Okay. Number one, there is a boat accident. Okay. And there is actually no patrol over the water to start with. Then he says something about having marine police. Marine. Marine police are supposed to be on the sea or next to the sea or next to the water. But marine police is angry. 